This is our new machine we just built. It's a 12 part aeroponic deep water culture. Spraying really good. It's got three sprayers in each one of these parts. It's got an air stone in the bottom. It's got a net pot, six inch. It's got a cover. It's got a yield cream in the top. It's a root to fruit. You kind of clone right off your plant, chop it right off, put it right into this machine. About 15 days it'll be rooted out. You go ahead and change the nutrients, put veg and nutrients in it, and you're ready to veg. Veg for like 15 to 20 days, go ahead and change the nutrients, put blooming nutrients in, you're ready to bloom. This is amazing. Well, it ought to be, I built it. Now, it's a 35, 30 gallon reservoir. Inside this construction, each one of these parts has its own six inch basin, goes down inside there. Then each one of these are connected with pipe on the inside. Then underneath all that is the reservoir. So it's all in one, reservoir, machine, air pumps, water pumps in the bottom, water lines, three sprayers in each one, net pots, covers. All that's missing is your plant. Is this ready right now for what? This ready for plants right now. We got it, everything done, if water's running, we let the water run for 24 hours, we kind of get it the right uh, temperature for the room. After it's the right temperature for the room, we can go ahead and start putting plants in it tomorrow. But we'll probably put some plants in it later on. Now what type of plants? Fully grown plants, already plants? No, we're just gonna take some clones out of my cloning machine out front. We have a clone machine running. We're gonna go ahead, we've had some cuttings in there for like five or six days. They're all rooted out, and uh, we're gonna put them in. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go get some right now. I'll be right back. I built it. <laughs> well, anyway, these are the cuttings that we got. We put them in there four or five days ago in the cloning machine out front. They're already rooted right out. They're all ready to go. We put them in. We go ahead and put them in the neoprene like this, just like you would a cloning machine. You go ahead and put them right in there in that crack. Stuff them right in there. You won't hurt them. Make sure you get it probably like maybe an inch hanging down there, maybe an inch, inch and a half hanging down. Go ahead and put them in there, spin them so you can get the root inside there. Okay, make sure the root's all in there. Once you know it's all in there, good. Let some water go on it and you'll know that the roots are falling down. Then you go ahead and put this in here, real nice and flat like that. See how that held that cutting? Simple as that. Just like that. That's so we I could probably do it right now. You could. Now try it. Go ahead and get up across the root, above the root like this. Get her right in there, yeah, get her close. About an inch, like you said. Yeah, set her in there. Okay. Let the roots in. Let the roots in, then let it just get wet inside there like this, and then the roots will start falling down. You can kind of go like this and it'll fall all down. Oh, okay. The water hole brings it down. Yeah. I see. I start swashing around a little bit, and then it'll get it going, yeah. And then just go ahead and tuck it right in oh, there. Oh, yeah, look at that. You literally just did. That's it. That's amazing. Just like that? That's it. That's the first time I've ever done something like that before. That's it, right there. You already got some cotton right in there, ready to go. Jeez. Right, we're gonna get some more because uh, this looks so good that we want to get it going. Get some more of them. Let's pile them in here. Quick and easy this is. Oh, 
These are rooted out beautiful. Look at these. These have been in the cloning machine out front in like five days and we got beautiful roots. We're ready to ride. So now is the cloning machine a must or a recommendation? Well, there's a lot of other ways you can do it. They don't think anything's as easy and more convenient than a cloning machine. So it's just good to have one. It is. When we're dealing with aeroponics or something like that, or even dirt for that matter, anything. It just moves so much faster. It gets the plants up and running so much quicker and more bigger that I don't really see anything that else that you'd want to use but a cloning machine for rooting or for getting plants started. I don't think there's just anything out there that's better than that. Yep. That is the top, top dog. Now, what's a rooting machine usually run by? Like, is it as expensive as a unit like this? Um, no, they're usually, uh, you can buy like maybe a 20, 30 site for, let's say, a couple hundred dollars. Oh, um, so mediocre compared to this. Yeah, it's just the, the beginning start of all of this. That's how you get everything started. See, I really have a hard time understanding the differences, and obviously, this is an amazing machine. Well, of course, I built from the side down. <laughs> and again, this is a 12 site, 12 site model. 12 site aeroponic deep water culture. Aeroponic deep water culture. I don't believe there's anything more fast and more bigger than aeroponic growing. But not everybody can master it. But I have built these machines so people can master it. It's just taking all the work out of it. Oh, I can tell. I haven't had to handle any dirt yet, so I'm happy. And these needle panes here, these are just a cutting. You gotta look down for that way. Oh, camera's right behind you. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, these, these covers, you mean? Yeah, these are just a, a quarter of those needle panes, it looks like. Yeah, and what I did is take a needle frame and divide it four ways. Oh, so you can buy one needle frame and do four of these plants? Yeah. Nice. Well, that was the intention, because uh, you don't need to take you know, one needle frame and destroy it. Yeah, you don't have to destroy a whole needle frame to do it. Yep. So that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some food. We're going to give these guys some food tonight because they're hungry. 